Do you find yourself always landing in spam or being blocked after launching just a few warm-up email campaigns? The agony. It's truly agony watching all your efforts amount to nothing thanks to spam filters. Sending mass emails, cold outreach to or from email giants like Google has always been a massive headache. Today, I plan on overcoming this massive headache. My name is Alvin Manassian with Rubedo AI, and in this video, I will be showing you five lessons on how to send cold emails to the inbox without being marked as spam. The lessons that I'll be showing you in this video are adopted not only from my own professional experience in email marketing in the last 10 years, but also from recommendations provided by Google themselves. Well, what better place to get advice than from the creators themselves, right? This video is for anyone who wants to grow their business, community, or network using cold email outreach. Watch this video till the end to elevate your game and lead generation to grow your business. One, the best practices for mass emails in bulk. First, be clear with the intent of the message and don't mix different types of content in the same email. For example, don't include content about promotions and purchase receipt messages. Messages of the same category should have the same email address in the from header. For example, messages from a domain called sayit.com might have from headers like this. Purchase receipt messages, receipt at sayit.com, Promotional messages, deals at sayit.com, account notification messages, alert at sayit.com. Check regularly to make sure your domain is enlisted as unsafe with Google Safe Browsing. Check the status of your domain in the Safe Browsing site's status page. Messages that have a from address in the recipient's contacts list are less likely to be marked as spam. Occasionally, valid messages will end up in spam. However, recipients can mark them as not spam, so for future messages to be delivered. Lesson two, control and monitor your sending volume. The biggest issue when sending emails in bulk is the speed that one sends the emails. It is the make or break for your email campaign. First, be aware of your email sending limits when sending from domains that have a google.com and next host. Increasing the sending volume too quickly can result in email delivery problems. First, know your limits. 500 emails a day to send from gmail.com and 2,000 emails daily via Google Workspace business account. The factors that determine your email deliverability are number of emails being sent, how frequently you launch campaigns, and feedback you get from recipients. The frequency of sent email. You can increase the sending volume more quickly when you send daily instead of weekly. Recipient feedback about your messages. Send mails at a consistent rate. The time intervals between each email being sent to three to four minutes. Start with a low volume and slowly increase it over time. Regularly monitor the campaign's number of views, click-through rate, and replies because monitoring your campaign allows you to adjust the sending volume. Rubedo AI is an open source platform that allows you to automatically send emails slowly and consistently. When creating a campaign, adjust the vault delay feature. This will eliminate any red flags when sending bulk emails from spam filters. 1500 to 1800 seconds on day one, then you can tune it down to 750 to 900 seconds on day two. Lesson three, warm up engagement. Don't send emails that have no value to your audience. Be sure your emails have high engagement levels by always asking yourself, what's in it for them? Before launching a cold email campaign, don't forget to warm up your server first. To warm up engagement with your leads, activate the warm up exchange engagement tool for deliverability in Rubedo AI. Step one, Go to leads.rubedo.ai. Step two, connect to your own SMTP. And then step three, activate the warm up. All automated and as simple as that. Only send mail to people who want to get your messages. They're less likely to report your messages from your domain as spam. If messages from your domain are often reported as spam, 
then future messages are also likely to be delivered to the spam folder. Over time, many spam reports can lower your domain's reputation. Learn more about your domain's reputation with Postmaster tools. We'll talk more about this on the next lesson. But before moving on to the next lesson, are you guys getting this? By utilizing the right tools and strategies in your email campaigns can increase your conversions and engagement by increasing the likelihood that your email will land in the inbox for the recipient to read. Fan filters seem to get more advanced. I definitely plan on providing you guys all the updates and techniques that will continue to get results. And as long as emails are around, you can increase your lead generation for new business. We'll be certain. Let recipients unsubscribe. Always give recipients a way to unsubscribe from your messages. Make unsubscribing easy. Letting people opt out of your messages can improve message open rates, click-through rates, and sending efficiency. Here are some recommended unsubscribe methods. Include a prominent link in the message that takes recipients to a page for unsubscribing. Subscribe recipients who have multiple bounce messages. Periodically, send a confirmation message to recipients to make sure they still want to get your messages. Lesson five, use Google's Postmaster tools to monitor sent emails. Use Postmaster tools to get information about the mail you send to Gmail users, such as when recipients mark your messages as spam, why your messages might not be delivered, if your messages are authenticated, your domain or IP reputation and its impact on message delivery rates, and more. That's all I have for you today, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Like this video for more helpful tips to rebate your business.